All right, guys, so uh, I'm pretty excited. I got my uh, e-bike delivered last night. Um, this is from Cy Rusher. It's the uh, Ranger model. And uh, I ordered it about a week ago, and it uh, was in a warehouse in California. And uh, just took a few days to get here. Probably wouldn't have even taken that long, except it was over uh, New Year's. And so, uh, you know, things were not moving much. Um, I'm looking at the manufacturer date on the bike here. Looks like it was, uh, let's see, so October 19th is when it was manufactured and probably put into this box. So, uh, you know, six, seven weeks in the box. And uh, here it is. So, um, really excited about this bike. Um, I did, I, I've been looking at uh, e bikes forever. Uh, kind of waiting for the technology to to move along and uh, improvements to be made and I'm finally at a point where I'm just like I'm just going to get one if uh, they decide they they're going to be huge advancements in uh, e-bike technology here in the next year or two um, at least I'll have one to ride um, I can't just keep waiting and waiting to see what comes out um, I did a lot of comparison shopping um, it came down to three or four um, that I was really most interested in, and I chose the uh, Cy Rusher Ranger uh, just because uh, it's got full air suspension. Um, it's got a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery, um, which is definitely on the large side for today's technology and e-bikes. Um, you'll see some e-bikes that have 60 volt batteries um, but really right now I'm not seeing anything that's over 20 amp hours um, so that's a lot of it should provide a, a decent range I think they um, say that this is good up to 55 miles depending on how you use it um, I'm just gonna I've always been a big mountain biker um, a motorcycle rider and it just seemed natural to get a powered assist bike um, you know, now that I'm old enough that uh, I really don't have the uh, stamina that I used to have when mountain biking and all that, I'm really looking forward to having a little assist when I go out on the trails. So um, I've had all sorts of mountain bikes over the years, um, and I decided to go with the huge fat tire bike this time just because I've never had one. And um, between the fat tires and the air suspension, um, this bike gets great ratings on uh, just being a real cush ride, and um, that, that'll be interesting. We'll see. I have no idea how this is going to ride, but I really like the looks of it um, in print and videos, and uh, we'll see what it looks like in person here. So I'm going to unbox this thing and put it together. Um, I do have, it, from what they, uh, from what I can see here, they've packaged it really well. That's uh, foam in there. Um, I can see part of a tire here and then more foam. Um, but it looks like it's packaged extremely well. The back box took a little bit of a hit um, in transit there, but I'm not at all worried about that. Um, just judging from what I see, uh, just through the ends of the box. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to set this camera down and unbox this. I'm only using parasite cutters and I do have a razor blade here uh, that I will use to get the box open and cut the zip ties that are holding everything together. Um, but that's supposedly this comes with all the tools necessary to uh, assemble it. So we'll see if that's right. Just 
seeing this up and lift the box up. anything in here so I'm just going to tear one in look down here where the boxes staple together you do is you depend on the bike but normally just so I never do any tube damage to the bike I uh, clamp onto the seat post here and that holds the bike upright and in the air so you can work on it so that's what I'm first step here for uh, putting this together but I'm excited to see what the color is here let's see Beautiful green. I won't lie, the uh, the color here was one of my final determining factors on which bike I bought. I don't normally do that, but uh, I love this, the green of this bike. Um, very cool. I didn't realize these were sort of iridescent here. That's cool. Well, first impression is that it looks 
really nice. Um, everything looks great. Kenda tires. Um, looks like it came through shipping just fine. So I'm going to deviate a little bit from how uh, most unpack these. I will, of course, just set the bike up first. Um, but Because I have the uh, bike stand here, I'm going to put the seat on first. So, I'm going to go ahead and find a place to set the camera so I can do what I need to do here. So very cool. Uh, I'll look it over closely here in a minute, but so far it looks like it came through shipping. So, and the packaging was first rate. So let's see here. It's got a funny big cushy seat. I'm not used to those on mountain bikes. That gets it up in the air where I can work on everything, not having to balance anything. Um, don't have to turn it over and do what I call the Bobby Brady repair on the bike. If you guys remember the Brady Bunch, Bobby always had his bicycle upside down, seat and handlebars on the pavement, um, oiling his chain and all that <laughs> during all of the uh, goofy show there. But, uh, Bobby Brady style assembly here. So this is all being protected by some plastic. Uh, everything looks really beautiful. What I'm seeing of the welds look very nice. The uh, I'm sure that whoever they have manufactured in these the frames in China um, probably do a number of manufacturers, uh, but awesome, man, what a great color, looks great. So I'm going to set this down and uh, we'll be working on it here now. See. 
since these bolts are so long here. I want to see if I can just undo the top. bike itself uh, costs a little more than some similar, um, but it costs a lot less than a lot that are similar. And uh, um, I just opted, in the end, I decided that I wanted full suspension. Um, I, I really like riding hardtail mountain bikes, um, but I thought with the big tires on this and all that uh, I'd go for a really cush ride. Here, if you air these big tires down a little, um, they act like your suspension. So I've essentially got like a double suspension on this bike, which should be really incredibly smooth. We'll see. Take these down a little ways. Don't tighten anything down all the way yet. What you want to do is keep the gaps on the top equal with the gaps on the bottom of these clamps. So. I should have my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. But oh well. Uh, yeah, it looks awesome so far. style front forks versus you know with the triple clamps top and bottom and they, like I said they are air they're fully adjustable um, nicely done there are your keys locked on there uh, so I think they uh, you know the reviews on these forks were really nicely done um, just a personal thing I think uh, if you can, if you've got a pair of side cutters or dikes, um, or uh, even just a pair of good scissors, use those over using a knife to cut all the zip ties. Just, all it takes is one slip with the knife and you've either gouged a brand new bike or you've uh, slicing your tire or something. Are so good. Everything looks good. Let's see if the brakes are dragging. They are not. They sound and look really great. Okay. I'm going to come around here. Pull off the uh, axle. Here. It comes with this uh, temporary front axle here. The 
just keeps things in alignment yeah, for shipping and all of that. So um, no big thing. I don't think you even need a wrench to get that off there. Pull that off. So I think you're seeing this really doesn't take any time at all to put together. Also, incredibly amazed at how light this front wheel is. That is, for being the size it is, that really honestly isn't a whole lot heavier than uh, other mountain bike wheels that I've had. It's incredible. We're happy about that. Okay, so that gets out of the way. I'm going to show you something here that's. So there's a zip tie on your caliper here with a spacer. That spacer is in there to keep the gap right so that your brake pads don't close up and then you go to put your front wheel in and the rotor won't go in between the pads. Um, I hope you can see that. I don't know the lights uh, grab you down here. But uh, the problem people run into is they pull out the spacer here they've um, taken the zip tie off and everything and then they inadvertently squeeze their brake lever while they're lifting the bike up to put this in or something what that does is it closes up those pads um, because it's the little red spacer isn't there anymore and uh, then your front wheel won't go in what you've got to do is uh, Park makes a tool for this that you can essentially use a, like a putty knife, um, a regular knife if you have to, put it between the pads and pry them back apart um, so that the rotor will go in there. So I guess what I'm saying is if, if you don't have this stand, and if you're using like a partner to hold up the front end here, you got you got a buddy holding up the front end. Make sure that they don't touch your front brake after you've pulled this little red spacer here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rotate the front of this bike up in the air a little bit more. Go about that. Okay, now your front axle here, from what I've been reading, it actually is a quick release hub or axle. So I can put a quick release on here. Um, I may not have any of this long right at the moment, um, but I can replace what I'm going to put on here with a quick release. And I may do that just because I, you know, used to having quick releases on everything but if you're somebody that's just uh, doesn't remove the front wheel very often and don't anticipate doing that um, really doesn't matter you can just bolt it oh easy I'm going to get these started on either side there's a washer with a recess for either side. I did notice this side had a little piece of cardboard in the thread. I assume that's just going to push its way right in. Um, these tires are not, oh, they are directional. If you look at this tire, you'll see an arrow here. Um, that arrow should be rotating forward. So arrow always in the direction of travel. So that needs to go forward. Um, they put that on right, fortunately, um, because your caliper has to be on this side. Now this is going to go right between those two pads.
possible to get this wheel sort of cocked a little bit sideways in the uh, dropouts there for the forks. So what I like to do is just sort of get things started. Uh, find the right size here. Problem with not wearing my glasses. <laughs> my reading glasses. So what I will do is kind of get these set in here and then I'm going to lower this down where it's actually putting some weight on that and then it'll find its actual center and actually looks like they did a nice job of chewing up the wheel uh, with a dish and all. So it looks good. So far everything's uh, spot on with this. Um, there's really not much to this assembly. Anybody with just basic mechanical skills it's going to take you what 15 minutes, 20 minutes to put it all together. Um, this is little bolt here is where your headlight will go. I'm gonna put that on. It's got a little wire bracket. You wanna this comes with some thread locker on it. Um, but you wanna tighten this up well and then check it every once in a while. Make sure this thing isn't gonna rotate sideways. Okay. And then there should be a yellow plug right there. I'm going to come back to this and put a little electrical grease on this um, and then snap it back together. But that's that's all there is to that. I'm going to to tighten this up just so that I don't forget it. Good and tight on that. Headlight looks decent. Nice, man. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so they even put little decals on your pedals here. On um, pedals, um, your right pedal has regular right hand threads. Just like, you know, you've always heard righty tighty. Um, and your left pedal has opposite left hand threads. So they will both be turning forward to uh, tighten. So these pedals look decent. They're alloy. Yeah, nothing wrong with those. They're well goes. Oh, that'll be fine. Um, on these pedals, You'll see them marked with a right or a left. Let's see here. I gotta find it. Oh, they're putting it on the end. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and peel off these silly uh, stickers on the cranks here. It's funny because they don't have a right or left on these. Well, easy enough to figure it out. This uh, does the thread end to the right or just the thread end to the left? This threads to the right, standard threads, your right pedal. This is the left. I'm going to go ahead and peel these. stuck on there. I think they want you to take that sticker off. So left, we're going to have reverse threads, which means it's spinning this
this way. And then pedals are almost always 15 millimeter, which is the bigger end of this. that I saw uh, specs for are supposed to have a double chain guard so that it stops your chain from ever coming off towards the inside. It's something I can add, no big deal. Um, but I believe it was supposed to come with that. This alloy chain guard on the outside here, uh, CNC machined and all, very nice stuff. Looks great. And uh, we got a nine speed. Must have miscounted. Oh yeah, one on further in. One, two, one, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine speed. Uh, that's our 750 watt, uh, about 1200 watt peak uh, motor there. Um, put out great power. Um, I've test rode a couple with the Fang 750 motors and they ran good but with this bigger battery and the higher voltage that thing ought to really crank so i'm not going to bore you with the minor uh things left to do on this like uh aligning the bars with the front wheel and all that um peeling off the rest of the plastic and all but uh man it looks great i'm really happy with it really looks like an awesome bike um I wish that these were down here. I'm not big on having a bottle um, right below you. The standover height on these are already fairly high. Yeah, I had a bottle there and that's kind of silly. So I may have to actually fabricate a bottle mount that goes around and hangs underneath here. Um, they make, I believe they make racks for these as well. I think that's what these are for. These two little mount holes there. Um, it would move up and down with the suspension um, But man, what a what an awesome bike. It reminds me more of a motorcycle than a Than a bicycle Gonna be fun. So that is it. My battery's still in the in the uh, Packaging over here because I can feel the weight It's down here uh, I will put that on the charger Thing charged up and uh, as soon as we have a day where it's above zero degrees wind chill I'm gonna get out on this thing and see how it does so awesome um, hope that helps somebody assemble or decide if they want one um, I can tell you you know I build motorcycles and have built an awful lot of bikes over the years and this looks really good it doesn't look cheap in any way um, very, very nice bike. I'm very excited about it. Okay, so everything's all adjusted on it. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier. Everything, uh, rotors were, uh, well adjusted, uh, or calipers, uh, no brake rub at all. Um, I went ahead and put on a seat of my own here, um, just because I, I'm not really the big cushy seat kind of rider. Um, this thing has dual suspension and 
super big soft tires so um, these are the kind of seats I'm used to and what I run on mountain bikes so that's what went on there just happened to have one that was green so awesome man what a what a great bike I'm so happy with it I uh, can't wait to get out and put some miles on the trails here